It has been 47 days since the beginning of the show Too Long Didn't Scroll, the one-stop shop for you to get a quick and listable daily news fix in audio or video format on platforms like YouTube, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and more. Find out what was news on any particular day using this daily updated show. So, we now dive into day 47 of this show's existence, March 7th of 2023. The events of March 7th start in the country of Syria, where it's been out in a raging civil war ever since unrest in 2011 as fallout from the Arab Spring. The civil war erupted after forces aligned under the Syrian interim government, aligned with Turkey and formerly much of the Western world, began an insurgency against the Syrian Arab Republic, aligned with Iran, Russia, and Iraq. Iran's participation in the war has particularly drawn the ire of Israel, a historic rival of Iran that sees the country's presence in Syria as a threat to Israel's security. As such, Israeli strikes and Iranian convoys and infrastructure in the region are complex, with a recent attack today being one of the Israeli Air Force on the Aleppo International Airport in one of Syria's largest cities. A series of air-to-surface missile attacks devastated the airport's runway and has put the facility out of service for the time being, according to the Syrian government, especially in the wake of rebuilding efforts since the Turkey-Syria earth- earthquake. Syrian officials have labeled this attack as an act of Israeli aggression and that humanitarian aid routed to the airport would have to be forced to take different routings. Meanwhile, in the South Asian country of Bangladesh, we center in on the capital city of Dhaka, home to well over 10 million people. In a seven-story building in the busy Siddiq Bazar area, a fire proceeded to break out and cause a subsequent explosion, proceeding to kill at least 18 people and injuring dozens, with one official estimating that at least 140 people have been admitted to a hospital as a result of the de- disaster. Such an explosion is part of a series of recent explosions across Dhaka that have killed a combined total of 28 people. While the cause of the explosions is still unknown, it is assumed that gas leakages and faulty construction are likely to bang. Moving on over to the country of Georgia between Eastern Europe and Western Asia, whose its parliament has proposed and is currently backing a bill that will force non-governmental organizations and media outlets for operating in the country to declare themselves as quote-unquote foreign agents. The criteria for such a declaration includes if the organization receives over 20% of their funding from foreign sources. Many individuals and organizations, including the European Union, NATO, the American government, and Georgian President Salim Bashvili, have voiced criticism over this new proposal, accusing Georgia of democratic backsliding due to the potential for the stifling of much of the free press in Georgia. Groups have since took to protesting the bill's passage in the, in the streets like the capital city of Tbilisi, prompting the police to resort to using tear gas and water cannons to drive the protesters away. Georgia has since found itself in a state of political chaos as clashes between demonstrators and police officers rage in the streets and fights even break out between parliamentary lawmakers, as many fear that Georgia's integration with Europe and other intergovernmental organizations could be significantly set back. In other news, Argentinian President Alberto Fernandez has announced more serious crackdowns on drug cartels in the country, especially in the city of Rosario, and has announced that law enforcement task forces, hundreds of members strong, will be mobilized, and the Micronesian parliamentary election for 2023 has begun as Micronesian citizens vote for the new Congress.